Hi there, this is Owen Johnson from See What You Mean. Um, quite a few of our clients have been saying to us, I didn't think you could use that iPad for worky stuff. Well, actually you can, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty powerful. So um, let's just show you how we're doing that. So basically we're using Keynote, and we've created some nice See What You Mean presentation using images and video. And we've been able to have a really kind of powerful platform that you can quickly get out of your bag, start it up, and update those clients that you haven't seen for ages and you bump into on the train and impress them with your iPad and your video that you put into your iPad movie. Okay, oh, so it's great. So we've got all sorts of things here, easily interrupted. Really nice, you can gesture through it backwards and forwards and skip through and it's really, really simple to do. So let's show you how we built some of this content. Okay, so we're gonna jump back into Keynote get ourselves a nice clean presentation and show you how easy it is to add those pictures in. Okay, and you can see here we've got some shared uh, albums. Okay, and all of our images are in there. Click a picture, in it goes. So you might be saying, well wait there a minute, how did you get all those pictures in and how did you create them? We use Photoshop to create our content, uh, text and the photos. You could use any pixel-based application, uh, even Word, to create images. The screen size for the iPad and for Keynote is 1024 by 768 but you can always scale up and down in Keynote. Um, or you can use the text tools in Keynote, but they're a little limited in fonts and display quality. So we saved out our JPEGs, opened iPhoto on the Mac, create a nice new album and dragged in our images. From there, we were able to sync through the iTunes application with our iPad. We ticked the album that we wanted to sync. Got them straight in. And as you can see, they all appear in a folder album named the same as we had on our iTunes, of course. And our picture's really, really easy and ready to use. So here we go we go pick a new one any content in it goes lovely so let's jump quickly into how you do that on the PC so um, same sort of method really this time you're going to create a new directory in your my documents my pictures and drag all of the images that you've created or all the images that you want to use inside your keynote drag them straight into this folder there we go, and then jump into iTunes on the PC, and you'll see that you have the options here to sync that folder, so just check it. We've got the folder here called See What You Mean Work. There you go, checked. Sync it in, and away you go. All of those images should now appear in your albums inside a Keynote. So we're gonna do exactly the same method now, back on the Mac this time, with videos. So video's a little bit tricky, because you would think that you'd be able to take the videos that you've got in your movies so we've got a load of movies here and you'd think that they would just come up in Keynote well unfortunately they don't what you've got to do is create yourself a new album in iPhoto ours is called see what you mean videos on the PC make yourself a new directory in the my documents pictures and you can copy your videos over into your new album We made our videos 124 by 768 the same pixel resolution as our pictures. And they're ready now just to sync. So in the same way, go to our photos, choose our see what you mean videos, and sync them straight over to the iPad. So you can see here, I'm just gonna add a nice new blank presentation, nice new slide there, go into here and you can see I've got a see what you mean videos folder now so I can click a video that I'd like to put in, I'm going to choose this one which is our Chelsea video, you can do a nice little preview of it here, okay, Oop. so wait there, So I'm going to add in the Chelsea video, and I'm going to click up here, I'm going to click the Use button. Okay, now you'll notice here something interesting, that 
Keynote is now compressing the video. So although we made this really nice full resolution, um, high definition video, unfortunately Keynote is going to compress it for us, which is a little bit annoying, but there you go. And as you can see, it's coming in at a, um, a slightly smaller size than we would have wanted it to be. But it's okay, we can scale that up and scale it out and make it full screen. And as you can see, we can play it and test it. Okay, great. And the resolution's still pretty cool. So, um, you know, I'm happy with that. So we've got three slides over there. Okay. And we can just test our presentation. There we go. One click and I'm back to my slide before. So let's just start from the beginning. So here we go. The slide. The slide. Right, really nice, really, really simple. And of course, if you're not happy with the order, just grab it and drag it. It really is as easy as that. And at £5.99, the Keynote app is a great business to business tool. You can even export and distribute the document through iTunes. So have lots of fun building your presentations and feel free to email us at info at seewhatyoumean.co.uk. And we hope to hear from you soon.